As someone once wrote in the comments, Padre Pio was a spiritual giant. And I couldn't agree more. In today's video, we delve into four profound but simple insights from this spiritual giant to help us get closer to God. And this is not about doing more penance, so stay tuned. Welcome back to our YouTube channel following Padre Pio. If you're new to our channel, Padre Pio was a Capuchin friar, mystic, and miracle worker whose intercession is still very powerful and active today. We publish videos and shorts five days a week, so follow us to find out more about the life of this fascinating saint, and you will be amazed at what Padre Pio can do for you, a family member, or a friend. And now to our story. Today's insights are sourced from the book, Padre Pio, The Definitive History by Bernard Ruffin. Within these pages, we discover four profound insights given by Padre Pio, which, if followed, can help deepen our relationship with God. Now, before you start thinking, this is probably about going to confession more regularly or attending masses on weekdays, etc., which, of course, were also advised by Padre Pio, and something we should all strive for, today's advice revolves more around our approach to life, our attitude, and less about specific actions to take. So without further ado, let's dive right in and hear what Padre Pio had to say. Advice number one. In every circumstance, always pray to God and say, Thy will be done. Under this advice, the author, Bernard Ruffin, shares a snippet from a letter written by Padre Pio to Anita Rodote, one of his spiritual daughters. He wrote, Learn to recognize and adore the will of God in everything. Repeat often the divine words of our beloved Master, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Repeat them in temptation and tribulations, and Jesus will be pleased to submit you. Repeat them even when immersed in the ocean of Jesus' love. This will be your anchor and salvation. So Padre Pio emphasized the need to always pray for God's will to be done in our lives, when times are hard and equally so when we are immersed in God's love. This is naturally easier said than done. When times are hard, I usually feel the need to complain. But through Padre Pio's wisdom and guidance, I am finding myself more often praying to God to help me carry my cross, and to help me trust in His divine providence. I have noticed that this type of prayer greatly reduces feelings of anxiety. As St. Therese of Lezoux advised, If God wants it, I want it too. Which brings us to advice number two. Never worry. I am sure you are all familiar with Padre Pio's famous quote, Pray, hope, and don't worry. Anxiety doesn't help at all. Our merciful Lord will listen to your prayers. In short, Padre Pio considered worry a waste of time. Furthermore, he warned that anxieties and fears could be exploited by the devil, tarnishing our good deeds due to a lack of trust in God. Instead, he advised placing more trust in God, especially during challenges and afflictions. Padre Pio's third advice is, offer every action to God. He urged his spiritual children to make small mental prayers in which they offer everything they do to Christ, no matter how simple or trivial it may seem, from cooking and cleaning to working and helping others, Everything should be offered to Christ. But this advice of offering every action to Christ can be extended to also include offering everything that happens to us to Christ. In a letter to one of his spiritual daughters, Maria Gargani, he wrote, Let's turn everything to God and live and approach Him. He then continued, and this is the part that emphasizes my point, the Christian should offer their sufferings as a sacrifice. Furthermore, in a letter to another spiritual daughter, Dona Maria, he wrote, Physical and spiritual illnesses 
are the most valuable offerings you can make to the one who saved you through suffering. So rather than letting our sufferings and hardships become sources of frustration and despair, Padre Pio emphasized the importance of offering them to God. This transforms pain and suffering, giving them purpose and significance, and becomes a means of uniting with Christ, who saved us through suffering instead of us for our sins. And this leads us to advice number four. Aspire to the heavenly prize. Padre Pio cautioned against getting too entangled in worldly affairs, as they turn our gaze away from heaven towards the seductive glimmer of perishable delights of the world. How lovely is eternity in paradise, and how miserable are worldly affairs, exclaimed Padre Pio to his spiritual daughter, Dona Erminia. He then continued, Aspire continually to the first, and fervent disregard for the comforts and affairs of this mortality. So as we can see, Padre Pio strongly encouraged striving for the greatest contempt for the comforts and affairs of this world, recognizing their potential to hinder our journey to heaven and our relationship with the Lord. As a fitting conclusion, Let's end today's video with a quote by St. Paul the Apostle from his first letter to the Corinthians, as it resonates deeply with the wisdom by Padre Pio we discussed today. Do you not know that the runners in the stadium all run in the race, but only one wins the prize? Run so as to win. Every athlete exercises discipline in every way. They do it to win a perishable crown but we an imperishable one. Thank you for listening. Please do like and share this video to help our channel grow. And please give our channel a boost by continuing to watch another video. This will help with the YouTube algorithm. I have recommended some videos especially chosen for you on the end screen. Or just click on one of the links in the description below for a full selection of great Padre Pio stories or our playlist of Padre Pio thoughts for the day. And don't forget to enroll your Mass intentions for next Friday's Padre Pio Holy Mass. You'll find the link in the description below. And stay tuned for the next video on the life of Padre Pio.